In this video, we're going to take a look at the latest release of Makera Cam, a versatile and free cam program for all Makera users. The first thing you'll notice when launching Makera Cam is a choice to open a new or existing file, as well as select the type of project you're going to create, whether it be for three axis machining or fourth axis machining using the optional rotary module available for both the Carvera and Carvera Air desktop CNC. After choosing the type of project you're going to create, we are placed in Makera Cam's general user interface. The typical workflow for preparing a design in Makera Cam is to first set your material and stock settings, as well as adjust your tools as needed. You can then import your designs, which can vary from images to 2D and 3D design files, as well as Gerber files for printed circuit boards. You will then create toolpaths to manufacture the different aspects of your design, preview those toolpaths to ensure they look correct, and then repeat that process until all the elements within your design are prepared. Lastly, you can use Makera Cam to export these as G-code files, which can be uploaded to your desktop CNC for manufacturing. So we can start this workflow by adjusting our materials in the stock panel here. You can easily select from a wide range of stock options, as well as change the size of your stock based on the project that you're looking to create. You can open up the material library to preview the different stock options that are included with Makera Cam, as well as add, change, edit, duplicate, or delete any stock options that you no longer want to work with. Next, we can take a look at the tool library to see all of the tools that are included within the default Makera Cam profile. These are all the tools that come with your Carvera and Carvera Air desktop CNC by default, as well as all the different tools available in the Makera store. You can easily create your own tools as well as import and export tool libraries, and you'll notice that every single tool has cutting parameters based upon the materials that's included within the material library. Should you choose to add your own tools and materials, you can easily adjust these parameters accordingly. This is the Layers panel, which is used to select the different design files and toolpaths within our project. All of the layers that you see here are part of the default work coordinate system, which sets the origin position based on our stock, which is typically in the left corner of our design. You can easily edit the work coordinate system, as well as create a new work coordinate system if you want to, for example, work on a different side of your stock within a single CNC project. On the top toolbar, you'll see options to import the different types of design files, and Makera Cam allows you to work with a wide range of file types for an even greater variety of projects. You will also see the different types of toolpaths that can be created for the various types of design files that you can import within Makera Cam, which we'll look at later on. You have options for previewing and exporting your toolpaths, and options for adjusting your window, your views, and your mouse options. After importing a design file such as this 2D design file, you'll see that there are tools to easily move your design, rotate it, scale it, and mirror it right within Makera Cam. We can then select all or part of our design, such as the pockets within this maze, and then choose the correct toolpath to perform this operation. Looking at the toolpaths available for a 2D design like this, you can see that we can create a pocket, which would clear out cavities like what I've selected, a contour, which would cut lines or the outer perimeter, drilling, which will create holes using drilling operations, chamfer, which can create a finished chamfer edge using a chamfer bit on our mills, and thread milling, which could be used to mill threads into a drilled hole. Once you choose the right type of operation for your design, a side panel will appear with options specific to the type of toolpath you're creating. We typically start by setting our depths and clearance heights before choosing our tool. And for the pocket toolpath, you can see that I can actually select more than one tool for this operation. For example, I can first select a larger tool from the tool library and note that the cutting parameters were automatically chosen based on the material I set earlier. While this large tool clears out the material in the pockets rather quickly, notice that the corners aren't quite crisp as this large cutting tool can't really fit within the corners of the design. But if I then add a smaller tool, Makera Cam will automatically generate another path to clear out what was left behind by the larger tool within a single pocket operation. Below selecting our tools, you can see that the default feed and speed settings can easily be changed as well as the number assigned to the tool that you're using. You will also see a variety of cutting parameters which will vary based on the type of operation you're performing, and we dive deeper into the functionality of these parameters in our other tutorials and guide. As mentioned earlier, I can also import the components of a PCB Gerber file, which will be brought in as different layers within Makera Cam. This makes selecting the different aspects of your PCB easy to create different toolpath operations for milling a PCB, such as drilling operations for machining all of the holes within your PCB design. 
And MakeCaracam also lets you bring in image files like JPEGs or PNGs. You can easily use the trace tool within MakeCaracam to convert these raster image files into vector files, which will allow you to create different toolpaths to manufacture these files using your desktop CNC with great ease in just a single program. You can also import photographs like this and use MakeCaracam to generate a toolpath specific for the laser engraving module available for both the Carvera and Carvera Air. This will allow you to create laser projects and laser toolpaths in the same program that you might use to create toolpaths for your milling operations. Working with 3D designs is very similar as with 2D designs, as you can see I've now imported a 3D step file of my maze. We have similar toolpath options for 3D files as we do for 2D, but the type of 3D file that you're working with may determine the type of toolpath you can create. For example, I can easily create a 3D pocket using this step file by selecting the pocket in my design, which will actually allow MakeCaracam to automatically determine the machining depth as it generates this toolpath. We can also create 3D contour toolpaths around this step file by first automatically generating a contour path around the perimeter of our design, then by choosing the right tool and parameters to machine this part and this stock. With both 2D and 3D contours, you can also easily create tabs which hold onto your part during machining with ease. But you may also want to work with a 3D mesh file like this STL that has intricate geometries and details throughout. Unlike a step file, we can't select the individual faces of an STL, but we can still use MakeCaracam to generate a 3D relief. This type of toolpath follows all the different intricacies within your design to manufacture it with great detail. You can also preview your toolpaths to see how they will be machined to ensure all of your parameters are set correctly. And working on a fourth axis project is very similar as we may import a 3D design, transform it to fit within our stock, but with a project like this, we can also take advantage of the simple CAD features within MakeCaracam that allows us to create basic 2D and 3D shapes within our designs, such as cylinders, which can act like tabs to hold onto this part during machining. After generating a rotation relief toolpath in a very similar way to how we generate a three axis relief, we can easily export our toolpaths as a G-code file, which can then be uploaded to your desktop CNC using the Carvera controller app to begin manufacturing. Make sure that you check out our other tutorials and guides to learn more about the tools and features built into MakeCaracam and to dive deeper into the different settings that we just overviewed in this video. Please also visit our YouTube channel and wiki site for more how-tos, tutorials, and lesson plans to teach you how to manufacture your ideas. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing MakeCara.